So you're looking for a way to make money where you can work from home, set your own hours, and make enough money that you can live off of it. I know that some of you have been looking for ways to make money and you see surveys and things like that. And those are great side hustles, but I promised you a video where I would find at least five different occupations that you could work from home and make, you can make lucrative money um, and, and enough money to live off of. So um, stick around. I've got five different ways and hopefully one of these are for you. Number one, is a video editor. I had to have that one here, right? Um, especially those of you that are looking at making your own YouTube channel. Maybe you're really, really good at editing and your channel really hasn't taken off yet. Well, this is a way that you can make money and actually create a business out of it. Now, video editors, I'm going to show you where you could place, um, advertise yourself, um, where people can find you. But video editors, editors will make anywhere from $10 to $100 an hour. You set your own rate. So obviously, if you're new, you always want to start out cheap. <laughs> lower and you also may even do some for free so that you have some people um, can give you some feedback. So anytime you get into designing or creating and you don't have any testimonials, a lot of people will do things for free or, or at a very, very low price. And in return, they ask for that testimony. You can go to fiverr.com. I also have a link below, but you can see here where people are charging different prices. Um, as you build up your business and you sell on here, you can become a level one seller, level two. So you can see that even here, they start to um, give you more credit as you earn more money and you get more customers and lots of good feedback. And, but what kind of equipment do I need? I mean, is this a lot? All you need is a good video editing software tool. So you could use iMovie, which is free. You could use Camtasia. That's, I've got a link for that one below. That's the one I happen to use. And you, or you could use Adobe. There are a lot of them out there. Do a little bit of research, find one that you like, that's easy for you to use and start editing videos. I did make a video um, where you can get free B-roll. Um, I've got that one up here above. You can get a lot of stuff for free. They have free B-roll, free photos that you can use, or you can go out and create your own, depending on how creative you want to be. Were you wondering why I'm sitting in a car making a video? Stick around to the end and I'll tell you exactly why. Let's move on to number two. Number two, you can make money as a proofreader. Do you love to read? And do you even find yourself when you're reading books, you're finding the mistakes and thinking of ways that it can be better? Well, become a proofreader. Um, proofreaders also sometimes are good copywriters. It's just people who are good with the language, good with words. And you could make a lot of money doing this. Think of all the people that are creating blogs and or even trying to create scripts for their YouTube videos. A good proofreader can make very good money, and there's a lot of um, need for So where do you go to advertise yourself? Again, there's other programs out there, but you can go to Upwork.com, and I've got a, some examples here um, that I'm scrolling, but $36 an hour, $20 an hour. Again, you set your price starting out, and as you get more testimonies and you um, have a your earnings have increased. Look at this one here, Jen. She's charging $90 an hour, but on Upwork, she's earned over $300,000, 100% job success. So she has great credentials and she de definitely would be someone that people would see that she's very successful. So proofreader and editor, great job. And you don't have to just proofread copyright. You could proofread um, people's books or novels that they're writing, their blog posts, things like that. It, it, the, the, Limitations are, there are no limitations in what you can do with this. I thought this next one would be a great segue to go into this because we we're talking about proofreading, but maybe you speak another language and you're like, oh, you know, most things are written in English, especially in the America. I'm not really good at that. And I speak, I'm bilingual. What do I do? Become a translator. Do you know how amazing that is to be able to speak two languages? Become a translator. Um, help other people, especially. If you're um, really good at speaking English, you can help other people who maybe speak um, Spanish and and translate for them. Um, and it can be written and it could be spoke, a spoken language. So a lot easily up to $30 an hour or more. Now you might be saying, yeah, but I, I'm not bilingual and I would like to become a translator. There's also jobs out there for people um, Chinese people, for some reason, they have, it's lucrative. Uh, there's a lot of companies out there where they're asking Americans or English speaking people to speak, uh, teach their Chinese children or adults how to speak English. And 
you can make as much as $25 an hour doing this. And the only drawback is a lot of times you do need to do it online on a laptop, but they are halfway across the world. So you're going to be working in the middle of the night. I actually looked into this at one time and it was fascinating. I am a teacher. I teach third grade and I was going to do this to make some extra money on the side. Um, uh, many of them do require a teaching license. Some of them do not. So you, I did find a site that they had some different, um, companies that are looking for teachers. So go ahead and scroll through that and see what you can find and see if you qualify, especially if you have some teaching experience. But the only thing I didn't like is it was in the middle of the night and I was teaching all day, so it wasn't going to work. But great job um, to have. And $25 an hour, if you work full time, that's $50,000 a year. So good money if you're looking for something to do from home. You can also go to fiverr.com, as I've showed you before, and here are some people that are advertising themselves to be translators. And you can see some people start at $5 because they're just trying to get some business so that they can get some testimonials, and then it goes up from here. Now, if you notice, a lot of these say starting at 5 so it goes up from there depending on what your needs are. All right, let's, let's go to number... Four. Number four, if you'd like to be on your computer and you would like to design, some people have a really good eye for um, laying things out. Um, landing page designer. And what is a landing page? Um, the landing page is the first page of the website. And if you just have some skills and you're not really in that industry and you've just been playing with it, but you know you have a gift for it, start advertising yourself to create just a landing page. Many businesses do not go and spend a lot of money and make an entire website. They just want to start with that landing page. They think of it as the, the, the front room of their store that's going to attract people. So as they're advertising themselves, they send people to this website, which is only a landing page and it has some basic information. So if you know, this is a great way to get started um, just creating landing. And you do need a laptop, you need a place to work, but you also need some software tools. Some of them are free. There's Wix.com, there's Elementor, dot com and WordPress. And there's a small fee, depending on, on how much you want to use it, then the fee goes up. But most of it is drag, drag and drop. So it's pretty easy to use. Like I said, if you have any kind of gift in this area, this is this would be a great job to start with. Now, I've already showed you fiber.com and I've showed you Upwork, but you could also look at indeed.com. Look in there and see what people are charging. And um, we'll just go through here. Now, there's copywriter. Um, definitely, if you have those skills, it helps with landing pages. Um, but down here, there's a brand designer, $40,000 a year. Visual designer, so that would fall into landing pages, $62,000. So just look at these different sites for how much other people are charging, and then you can advertise from there yourself. And if you have some work that you can show, you definitely always want to show people the work that you've done, even if it's been done for free for your friends or just for yourself. Let them see that you know what you're doing, and you can do a good job for them. Not least, you, be, you can become a virtual assistant. A virtual assistant is somebody that is really organized. They're usually gifted in many areas, and they're just really good at just laying things out and when you start your own job, you have to know how to do so many things and it can become, become very overwhelming, but you can outsource part of it to a virtual assistant. Just go into any of those sites that I've showed you, Upwork, Fiverr, or Indeed, and find somebody that can help you. It might be somebody that can just help you answer your emails. Maybe you're starting to get a lot of engagement and you just don't have time to do that. It could be that simple. Let me go to my favorite place, Fiverr, and just see what some of these people are offering. I thought this one was great. Her name is Rose Boom. But she can do your blog management, customer support, WordPress site assistance, social media, calendar management, post scheduling, email handling, web research, and data entry. If you're a YouTuber, then they might even go in and just help. Maybe you don't want to get a video editor, but you need help with the description and then posting it for social media. So you can find the things that you don't like to do and let somebody else do it. It is well worth the money. This person here starts out at $40 an hour. Let's see what some of the other people have, just so you can get an idea. Data entry, copy paste, data mining, and internet research. So you could even have somebody go in and look at your analytics and tell you, hey, this is the way that you should be going with your business. Um, this is where most people are searching you for and things like that. Um, your blog, they can go in there and look at all the SEO and help you get out there um, from where you're at. So again, 
that's lucrative. If you're making $40 an hour working full time, that's $80,000 a year. Just double your salary working full time. That's basically how they do it. Don't forget because you're self-employed and I'm not a tax advisor, but don't forget to put money aside for your taxes because you will get hit hard. $40 an hour, $80,000. You want to be putting some of that aside into an account, talk to an accountant and make sure you're doing the right thing with your taxes as well. I hope this was helpful. Let me know if any of these resonated with you or if you're already doing one of them and you can be help, um, give your advice to people that are um, making comments below. You have a good one and I'll see you on the next video.